In this video, we will go through a tour of the Amplitude Experiment workflow and the user interface. First, let's take a look at the Amplitude Experiment workflow and where various teams are needed when running an experiment. The experiment workflow requires people to assume the roles of a product lead, an engineering lead, and a data science lead. Depending on your specific situation, some or all of these roles may be assigned to the same person. Each role has different responsibilities throughout the workflow. Before you can create an experiment, you need to be sure your product and Amplitude experiment are properly set up. This is done by creating a deployment, which will allow you to push your experiment or group of flags out for execution, and installing an SDK package in your code base, which will allow Amplitude Experiment to connect to your product and is usually done by an engineer. While that is happening, a thorough test plan or experiment design should be written. This should detail everything about the experiment, including a problem statement, supporting data, objectives, a hypothesis, target audiences, sample sizes of those audiences, called allocation, the experiences those audiences will see, called variance, timelines, and success metrics. Once the experiment is fully planned out, you can create the experiment and define the variance and allocation within Amplitude Experiment. At this point, you need to generate a key and some code snippets using Experiment and pass those along to the engineers to put in your code base, which can be modified as needed. Your engineering team will also need to create the variant experiences. After the experiment key, snippets, and variant experiences are in your code base, you should test your experiment. Once you verify it runs as expected, you can activate your experiment for your target audience. Since you need to wait for the actual traffic required for your experiment, this is when you can monitor the experiment and make sure it is running correctly. When the experiment concludes, it's time to analyze the results and determine a winner. Do the end results support the initial hypothesis? Depending on your results, your data lead can help you decide to either ramp up and expose a wider audience to the test experience, either through increasing rollout percentage or turning the test experience into a feature flag to turn on, roll back the experiment, or iterate on it and run another experiment. Either way, you should share your results with your team and keep everyone in the loop on how the experiment went and what was learned from it. For things you want to make more permanent, the very last thing in the workflow is to remove the feature flag and permanently commit any changes in your product to code. Now let's take a brief tour of the Amplitude Experiment user interface. We'll start by going through each of the options in the navigation and provide a quick explanation of what you can do in that area of the product. To access Amplitude Experiment, click here. Once on the landing page, you can see an overview of experiments and feature flags that have been recently edited by you and by others in your organization. To create a new experiment or feature flag, click here. You are then guided through the creation process, which we will go into more detail starting in subsequent lessons. You can access experiments and flags that have already been created by clicking on Experiments or Flags. When you click on Experiments, you'll see a summary of experiments that require your attention or have been completed. You will see a full list of experiments created in your organization and their current status, along with other high-level information about each experiment. You can also create a new experiment from this page. Likewise, the Flags page shows a full list of flags created in your organization, along with their current status and other important information. You can create a new flag from this page too. If you need to monitor or create a deployment before starting a new experiment, just click Deployments. A list of all your deployments displays, which can be grouped by project name or by deployment name. Deployments live under Amplitude Projects. A project can have multiple deployments, but each deployment can only be attached to a single project. Just click Add Deployment to create a new deployment. The last area of the UI we will look at right now is documentation. This takes you to the technical documentation site for more information on APIs, SDKs, and further technical help on how Amplitude Experiment works. Thanks for watching.